applying zero property to solve equations. Uh, for any of these examples, we are changing the f of x or the function to be an equation that's equal to zero. Sometimes they will be factored for us, or sometimes we will have to factor them ourselves. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do with example A is set this equal to zero. So instead of it being f of x is equal to, we're going to have the x minus 15 times x plus 7 is equal to zero. So we're just rewriting it. And then from here, we're going to set each part equal to zero and solve. So the x minus 15 is set equal to zero, and the x plus 7 is set equal to zero. We're going to move the 15 over by adding it to both sides. So we have x is equal to 15, and then with the 7, we'll subtract it from each side to get x is equal to negative 7. For b, we are given f of x is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 23. So this is going to be rewritten as x plus 1 times x plus 23 is equal to 0. We set each of them equal to 0. And then we solve. So we're going to subtract the 1. We get x is equal to negative 1. We subtract the 23. And we get that x is equal to negative 23 as well. For C, we're given f of x is equal to x minus 10 times x minus 6. So this is going to be rewritten as x minus 10 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. So set that these each both equal to 0. So x minus 10 is equal to 0. x minus 6 is equal to 0. Solve for x. So we're going to add the 10 over. We get x is equal to 10. We're going to add the 6 over. We get x is equal to 6. For D, we have f of x is equal to 7 times x minus 13 times x plus 12. So we're going to rewrite this as 7 times x minus 13 times x plus 12 is equal to 0. We're setting each part equal to 0, so 7 is equal to 0, x minus 13 is equal to 0, and x plus 12 is equal to 0. But the 7 is equal to 0, that's a false statement, so we're not going to work with that one. For the x minus 13 is equal to 0, we're going to add the 13 to both sides. We get that x is equal to 13. For the x plus 12, we'll subtract the 12 from each side. We get x is equal to negative 12. So the 13 and the negative 12 are both your solutions. For example, 2a, we have 3x times x minus 4 plus 5 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is factored for us about halfway. So we want to think of this like factor by grouping. Uh, your two parentheses are the same, so we're going to rewrite one of them. And then we're going to form another set of parentheses with the 3x and the 5. So this is giving us the x minus 4 times 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. We're going to set both parts equal to 0, so x minus 4 is equal to 0, and 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. And we'll just solve for both of these. For the x minus 4, we're going to add the 4 to both sides. We get x is equal to 4. With the 3x minus, or sorry, 3x plus 5 is equal to 0, we're going to subtract 5 from each side. We get 3x is equal to negative 5. Then we divide each side by 3 to get that x is equal to negative 5 over 3. For b, we have negative 9 times x plus 2 plus 3x times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Those two parentheses are the same, so we're going to rewrite 1 and then form another with the 3x and the negative 9. We're going to set both of these equal to 0, so 2x, or sorry, x plus 2 is equal to 0, and 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. And then we're just going to solve. So subtract the 2 from each side we get x is equal to negative 2. Add the 9 to both sides. We get 3x is equal to 9. Then divide by 3. We get that x is equal to 3. So negative 2 and 3 
are our solutions. For C, we have 5x times x minus 3 plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. That 4x minus 12, if, it's, if it was in parentheses, we can factor out a 4. So this is going to be rewritten as 5x times x minus 3 plus 4 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Our two parentheses are the same, so we're going to rewrite one of them. And then we're going to form another with the 5x and the plus 4. So now we're going to solve both parts. So x minus 3 is equal to 0, and 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. We're going to move the 3 by adding it to both sides. We get x plus, or sorry, x is equal to 3. And then we're going to subtract the 4 from each side with the 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. And then divide each side by 5. So that way x is equal to negative 4 over 5. So 3 and negative 4 over 5 are our solutions. For d, we have 7x times x minus 11 minus 2 times x minus 11 is equal to 0. Those x minus 11s are the same, so we're going to rewrite one of them. And then we're going to form another set with a 7x minus 2. Set each part equal to 0, so x minus 11 is equal to 0. 7x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then solve for x. So add the 11 over, we get x is equal to 11. Add the 2 over, we get 7x is equal to 2. Then divide each side by the 7. Oops. We get x is equal to 2 sevenths. So 11 and 2 sevenths are our solutions. For E, we have negative 8x times x plus 6 plus 3x plus 18 is equal to 0. So with that 3x plus 18, we're going to put a parentheses. We're going to just factor out a 3. So this is going to give us negative 8x times x plus 6 plus 3 times x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now these two parentheses are the same. So we're going to rewrite one of them, x plus 6. We're going to make another with the negative 8x plus 3 and set it equal to 0. From here, we're going to set everything equal to 0. So x plus 6 is equal to 0 and negative 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. We're going to solve for x, subtract the 6 over. We get x is equal to negative 6. Move the 3 over. We get negative 8x is equal to negative 3. And then divide each side by the negative 8. x is equal to a positive 3 eighths. For our next example, it tells us the height of one diver above the water during a dive can be modeled by the equation h is equal to negative 4 times 4t plus 5 times t minus 3, where h is the height in feet at t is the time in seconds. Find the time it takes for the diver to reach the water. So we're just going to take this h is equal to negative 4 times 4t plus 5 times t minus 3 and set it equal to 0. So 0 is equal to negative 4 times 4t plus 5 times t minus 3. From here we're going to have negative 4 is equal to 0, the 4t plus 5 is equal to 0, and t minus 3 is equal to 0. The t is, the negative 4 is equal to 0 isn't a true statement, so we'll cross that out and we won't work with it. For the 4t plus 5 is equal to 0, we're going to subtract the 5 from each side. We get 4t is equal to negative 5. Then we divide each side by the 4. So t is equal to negative 5 over 4. Uh, this one we're not going to work with because your time is never negative. So we're going to solve the other. The t plus, or sorry, the t minus 3 is equal to 0. We're going to add the 3 to both sides. And we get that t is equal to 3. So 3 seconds is our answer.
for the next one it tells us the height of a golf ball after it has been hit from the top of a hill can be modeled by the equation h is equal to negative 8 times 2t minus 4 times t plus 1 where h is the height in feet and t is the time in seconds how long is the ball in the air so once again we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to set this equal to 0 0 is equal to negative 8 times 2t minus 4 times t plus 1 we're going to have negative 8 is equal to 0, 2t minus 4 is equal to 0, and t plus 1 is equal to 0. Then negative 8 is not equal to 0. We're going to add the 4 and then divide it by the 2. And get that t is equal to 2. This is a solution. And then with the 1, we would subtract it from each side. I get t is equal to neg negative 1, but it cannot equal a negative number, so we're not going to work with that one. So it's just 2 seconds. That is our answer. Thank you. All right, so we have some extra examples. For 1, we are given... Uh, f of x is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 5. So we're going to set both of these equal to 0 and do x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 5 is equal to 0 and solve. So we're going to add the 3 over and x is going to equal 3. Subtract the 5 over and x is equal to negative 5. For 2, we have f of x is equal to x times x minus 1, so that's x is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we're just going to move the 1 over, and we get that x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 1. For 3, we have f of x is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1. So because both of these parentheses are the same, we don't have to do it to both. We can just solve 1. Um, so we're going to have x is equal to negative 1. For 4, we have x minus 5 and x plus 1. So we're going to set both of these equal to 0. So we're going to add the 5 over, we get x is equal to 5, subtract the 1, x is equal to negative 1. So 5 and negative 1. For 5, we have x minus 11 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we're going to get 11 and 1. For 6, we have x plus 13, set that equal to 0, and x plus 5, set that equal to 0. Move the 13 over, subtract it from each side, so x is equal to negative 13. Move the 5 over, subtract it from each side, x is equal to negative 5. For 7, we have x plus 5 and x minus 8. So x plus 5 is equal to 0, x minus 8 is equal to 0. We're going to move the 5 over and subtract it from each side, so x is equal to negative 5. Move the 8 over, add it to both sides, x is equal to 8. For 8, we have x minus 7 times x plus 2, so x minus 7 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0. We're going to have to add the 7 to get x is equal to 7 and subtract the 2, so x is equal to negative 2. For 9, we have 2x times x plus, or sorry, x minus 4 plus 14 times x minus 2. So the 2x minus 2s, we're going to write 1 and then form another with a 2x plus 14. Now that 2x plus 14 can still be factored as well. Uh, we can factor out a 2 from it, so this can be written as 2 times x plus 7 times
times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So the 2 would be equal to 0, the x plus 7 is equal to 0, and the x minus 2 is equal to 0. 2 is not equal to 0. However, with the 7, we can subtract it over. We get x is equal to negative 7. With the 2, we can add it over to get x is equal to 2. For 10, we have x times x minus 4 minus 2 times x minus 4. Those x minus 4s are the same, so we're going to rewrite 1 and then make another with the x minus 2. So then separate this, x minus 4 is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Move the 4 over by adding it to both sides, so x is equal to 4. Move the 2 over by adding it to both sides, x is equal to 2. For 11, we have f of x is equal to 5x times x minus 3 plus 25 times x minus 3. So these x minus 3s are the same. I'm going to rewrite it x minus 3 times 5x plus 25 is equal to 0. So again, we can factor out a 5 here. So we're going to have 5 times x plus 5 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. The 5 is equal to 0. The x plus 5 is equal to 0 and the x minus 3 is equal to 0. 5 is not equal to 10, so we're going to cross that out. We're going to subtract the 5 from this. We get x is equal to negative 5. We're going to add the 3 from this one, and we get that x is equal to 3. And for 12, we have f of x is equal to 3x times x minus 7 plus 7 times x minus 7. So the, s, the x minus 7s are the same parentheses, we're going to rewrite it once, and then we're going to make another out of the 3x plus 7 and set it equal to 0. So then x minus 7 is equal to 0, and 3x plus 7 is equal to 0. We solve for x at the 7. We have x is equal to 7. Subtract the 7. We have 3x is equal to negative 7, and then divide by 3. So x is equal to negative 7 over 3.